What's going on guys? Jordan here from Gills and Bills Outdoors. Uh, just getting off the water here today. Thought I'd give you guys your weekly fishing report. Seems like you guys have appreciated that. So, did fish local again, southeast Wisconsin unfortunately. We weren't able to make our way to northern Wisconsin like we had hoped. Uh, some things came up so we did stay home. Uh, Jeff and I are still musky fishing. That's probably what we'll be doing here for the rest of the season. But fishing some of the bigger bodies of water on those bigger bodies of water, we're still only seeing 64, 65 degree water temps. I did talk to a buddy who was fishing a smaller body of water here today, and he was seeing 68, 69 on that particular body of water. So smaller bodies seem to be obviously a little warmer. Uh, but the big bodies of water just aren't warming up for us. Uh, we've been getting a ton of rain, a lot of cooler nights that's just preventing that water from warming up. Um, we are catching a couple here and there. It seems like we're averaging two a day for the most part, but still just not getting anything big. Today we actually finally moved a decent fish, uh, but moved that on a bucktail and as it came into the boat, saw the boat and uh, you know spooked away. But musky fishing for you. <laughs> um, but that's kind of what it is. So things that have been working for us, swimming dog has still been probably our most productive. Uh, the bluegill pattern, uh, swimming dog has definitely been our best. Uh, the hot crappie from Team, Team Rhino, uh, that's been another good one that's been working for us. When I fish my swimming dog, I do pair that up with uh, Chaos Tackle, Shock and Awe, and I'm putting uh, Tranks 400 high gear on that. Again, the way that I fish that is typically the lakes that we fish around here in southeast Wisconsin are very weedy, tough fishing. There's not particularly a break line that's just big weed flats, uh, but on those flats the weeds have just gotten carried away this year and there's a lot of floating weeds. So traditionally, you know, a bucktail would be great, you know, but fishing those are pretty tough right now because there's just so much floating weeds on the top. 75% um, of your casts come back with dead blades. Um, so. Jigging in the pockets has been working pretty good. Another thing when we are in those real thick cover areas is fishing the half ounce spinner blade from uh, Grim Reaper Lures. Again, I like the, the willow blades. Um, the willow blades definitely seem to pull through the cover a little easier, a little cleaner, um, and they've been working, so you know, can't complain with that. Um, when I fish this, I'm fishing this with a, a Chaos Tackle Surgical Strike. And again, a high speed reel. This is the Daiwa Pro Rex 7 to 1 gear ratio. I tend to like the high gears a little more because you're not having to work your butt off to crank these baits back in. Um, but again, spinner baits, fishing that deep, heavy cover, swimming dogs. When we find those pockets in the flats where you can kind of jig around and in between the weeds, that's been working pretty good for us. Um, I have tried, we've emptied the tackle boxes pretty much every time we've been out trying to try and bulldogs, trying to get reactionary bites and we just aren't getting them. Um, but we're catching muskies. Like I say, can't really complain with that. Uh, would be nice to get a bigger one, but time will, time on the water will make that happen. Um, so Again, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. You guys kind of get a quick rundown of what water temps are doing and uh, what's working for us. Again, if you guys got any questions, please feel free to ask how I'm fishing something, how fast, how slow, you name it. Uh, again, feel free to ask. Uh, hopefully you guys are out there catching some fish. There's plenty of fish up shallow. Rob, I had my buddy Rob in the boat yesterday. He caught a walleye on a swimming dog. He caught a bass on top water. Um, so. There's plenty of fish around. Um, just get out there and go catch them. Again, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And if you got any questions, let me know.